Hello YouTube, today we are going to install the factory ROM, the stock ROM. So it can happen that you install a custom ROM and then later you don't like it, you want to get back to, uh, to the factory uh, standard ROM. Or maybe you just want to reinstall everything to begin from scratch. Then this uh, video tutorial is for you. Get back the factory ROM and plus you will have the root still active available which is very nice. So let me show you uh, just very quickly this uh, ROM. If we go to <coughs> settings here on the top uh, we know that this ROM is a Nougat version, right here, Nougat version 7. And this one is the H910, 10L, that is the AT&T version. I will put a link in the video description below where you can download the files and you must follow the instructions in the link. And you can do it too. Um, we just check back here in yeah this one has also super su installed so this is the root version 2.79 this is uh, the super su user for the root options so once you have the files on your SD card you have to uh, reboot the system and go into the tour up to do that uh, you press the power button and then you will power off the system power off okay once the system is powered off we are going to go into the twerp recovery to do that you must hold down the hold press the volume down button and the power button and when the LG logo appears you immediately after you must release the button and repress the button again the power button so uh, volume down and power when you see the logo release the power and uh, repress the power I'll show you how to do this LG logo release and repress there you go then you get into this factory data reset press volume down press power press volume down press power don't worry this is the root it's scrambled okay so once we are in twerp recovery we are going to choose the wipe option and then we go to advanced wipe and you have to choose Dalvik system data internal storage cache those five options and then swipe to wipe okay then you want to press on back so we must go back reboot to recovery let's do that Okay, swipe to allow modifications and then what you want to do once we are back in TWRP recovery we want to start the restore so you press restore select storage micro SD card ok and we put them in, the, in this folder here and as you can see it says system leave that checked and then you swipe to restore so that will restore the backup which is the file which you download from the link which I gave you previously in the video description below so once it has restored uh, we have to go back and go back and now we are going to install we are going to install an image which is when you press on install and then you press install image 
the boot backup image. Just press it once and then you have to tap on boot. Just tap that first option once so that it, the boot is activated. Swipe to flash. Okay, don't reboot yet. Then you go back. Then you go back again. Go back. Tap on install. And now we have to install the super SU user. Just this one here. And now swipe to flash. Okay, so once this is done, then we can reboot the system and we'll be good to go. So, reboot the system, disconnect the USB cable. You will see this uh, logo here, which is normal, it's blurred. And also the boot up static is a, a very strange screen, but you can uh, bypass that by flipping the screen to its back. I will show you how to do that. And here you have the static screen as you can see. You see now we have here the welcome screen because it's with a white background, white stripes you can see here. Okay now comes the tricky part. You have to flip over the screen just like that. And then we are going so basically what you need to do is to flip over the screen just like this and then flip it back again and now when we press the power button we are good the screen is clear okay I have no SIM card installed yet so Press English, skip for now. Yes, next. Okay, fingerprint not now. Later. Next, I agree. Done. And welcome to the LG V20. So here we are in our screen of the LG V20. This is the stock room back to basics. So we are going to put here display home screen. Let's put it again back to home and up. And there we have our classic screen. All the icons like we want. Okay, I hope this video was helpful for you. Later I'm going to upload more videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, for now have a wonderful day, stay well, peace out.